<laughs> I'd like a corsage mm -hmm. tonight for my date uh, to the prom. <laughs> it's a girl. Oh, it's okay. Everybody's nervous on their prom night. Even us girls. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. <laughs> Guess I am a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she must be pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's, uh, she's more than pretty. She's, uh, she's really cute. <laughs> Uh, cute, cute's wrong. She's a, uh, she's pretty cute. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, uh, what color gown is your young lady wearing? Excuse me. Well, we don't want to cassage that clashes now, do we? Oh, no, we don't. That's for sure. Uh, she's wearing uh, pink, pinkish. Actually, it's it's kind of a green, um, with with a little lavender. Do you have any black flowers? You know, uh, you boys never have an eye for clothes. You know, I, I remember when Mr. Krellman... You know what? I'll just save you. I'll just take this. This is no problem. Wait, that, that's a cactus. Uh, yeah. And a corsage. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, no, have a good there's day. too much money. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, oh, hi, Patrice Roger. Hi there. Sorry we can't talk long. We've got tons of shopping to do before the prom. Isn't this so exciting? I can't wait until tonight. I wonder who'll be named king and queen. Oh, God, I would just die if it was me. And Roger, too, of course. Uh, well, in that case, uh, good luck. <laughs> and Roger, too, of course. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Great to see you again. What's he buying corsage for? I mean, who'd go to the prom with him? Did you see his polo shirt? It didn't even have a polo guy on it. Please. Huh? Oh, never mind. Uh, I gotta get some starlight pink blusher and then run over to the shoe store to get those Charles Jordan pumps because, oh, I decided to wear the puce taffeta sheath, which is why you got the Pearl Grey Riviera tuxedo with the uh, dusty rose tie and cummerbund. Oh. Oh, and you need to get me a corsage. Oh, listen, couldn't you do that because... Honestly, Roger, it is tradition that the guy gets the corsage. Now, you're supposed to surprise me with a white rosebud and silver ribbon bristle here. I wrote it down for you. Okay. Now, remember, Roger, this is the most important night of my life. I do not want one single thing to go wrong. Hmm? Yeah. Hi, Shelly. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. Oh, Donna, I love your perm. Oh. Hi, Lori. Hi, Kathy. Oh, what a cute little charm Ron gave you. Yeah. What is it, a football cleat? Yes, it is. <laughs> Did you see the diamond pre-engagement ring I had Roger get for me? Oh. Cost him a fortune, but after all, you only get pre-engaged once, right? Oh. Um, Shelly. Shelly, you didn't RSVP to my Apre prom party. You and Kevin are going to be there, aren't you? Well, actually, Patrice, I'm not sure if I'm going with Kevin tonight. Oh, my God. You mean Kevin didn't ask you to the prom? Ask me? Well, sure, of course he asked me. It's just that this college guy invited me to go to this frat party with him, and I'm not sure I'm going to make it to the prom. Oh, my God. You're seeing a college guy? Well, don't you think you should tell Kevin? He's standing right over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I guess I better go tell him. Mm. My God, he is such a stone fox. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know, you have to be 18 to buy these. No, you don't. Well, you have to be married. Fine. Then the missus would like some of the colored ones. Hi, Kevin. Shelly, hi. Look, Kevin, I know you're upset about the last time we, you know, but I told you I'm just not ready yet. And I'm sorry that you rented the van and Shelly, everything, but... we've been going out for four years. For four years, you've been getting ready, and I've been getting horny. Well, if that's all you want, then why don't you just ask Ramona Gilgood to the prom? How do you know I haven't? What? You mean you and Ramona? I don't have to tell you anything. What are you, my wife? No. But I thought I was your girlfriend. Think again. Well, fine. Because it doesn't really matter anyway. Because I'm going to a frat party. Bye. Kevin is devastated. God. Shelly Sheridan ditching our senior prom. She's only like the most popular girl in class. I'm way shocked. Well, maybe she's just afraid that she won't be elected queen of the prom. You girls voted, didn't you? Uh-huh. And you know, Shelly's going to be the only girl in our senior class that's not going to be at the prom. <laughs> totally yeah. untrue, Marina. 
check out the prom dresses on Angela and the bag lady over there. Ew! Oh. You know, we're gonna need at least five videotapes if we're gonna stay up all night. I don't know, Margaret. I promised my parents I'd be home early tomorrow morning. Church, you know. Angela, we have been planning this night since our freshman year. We made a sacred pact. Tonight, we're gonna watch movies, eat popcorn, and pig out until dawn. Yeah. I mean, come on. This is our prom night. I know, but high school's over forever. In a few months, we'll be in college. Angela, if you don't want to go to this religious college, just stand up to your parents and say so. I mean, what are they going to do to you? They'll probably just turn the other cheek. I'm not like you, Margaret. You do what you want. True. You say what you want. True. You wear what you want. You don't care what people think. You don't like my new hat? I love it, really. Anyway, it doesn't matter what I think because the people at fashion school loved your designs. You're really talented. True. But what about you? You're a great artist. That's why they accepted you into art school. How can you let your parents stand in the way? It's not just that. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? I don't know. Everything. I just wish I could stay in high school. <gasps> why couldn't I have flunked the grade? What do you think about the light blue? Hey, looking good, buddy. Hey, Kev, man, check this out. I'm putting studs in my shirt. Get it? Studs? You know what that makes me, don't you? Yeah. A jerk. Uh, so <laughs> what is up with this belt? It's way too wide for the loops. You guys are like children. That's not a belt. That's a cummerbund. You wear it around your waist. How come? Because it's decorative, you doofus. World War One, Napoleon's time. Yeah, you factor. weep. Oh, dude, you're not really going to wear a pink tuxedo, are you? It's not pink. It's salmon. I guess Shelly's making you wear it, huh? I'm not going, Shelly. What? But you two have been going together since the ninth grade. I mean, this is practically like uh, getting a divorce or something. Maybe you should see the guidance counselor. Look, Shelly is a great girl and everything, but a man needs more than that. A man has only one prom night, and he wants to be absolutely sure that he, uh... Do I have to explain the facts of life to you, boys? Oh, so she won't do it, huh? You guys are vulgar, you know that? Then why don't you ask Ramona Gilgood? <laughs> Feel good, Gilgood. <laughs> yeah, well, I already asked her. Turns out she's dating a Spanish teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you gonna go stag? What, is that a joke? I can get a date, no problem. I got, what, six hours? I feel sorry for you, my man. I mean, I don't know what I'd do if I had a woman who wouldn't give me any. Yeah, give you any what? Wallace Gum? You expect me to believe that you and Lori have been, uh... Hey, I didn't say Lori, all right? Then who? Yeah, who? And I don't have to tell you guys. Oh, I bet I know who. The bag lady. <laughs> No, no way, man. It was somebody else. It was, uh... It was, uh... It was Angela. Angela Stroll? Yeah. yeah. She's real easy. Well, she's an artist, you know. Okay. Yeah, and she's not that bad looking either. Not once you get her out of those geeky clothes, you know what I mean? So what you're saying is she's a sure thing. Yeah. Oh man, you're not gonna ask Angela Stroll to the prom, are you, Dull Stroll? Sure thing. What about Top Gun? Oh yeah, my parents wouldn't let me see that one. What's it about? Tom Cruise. Don't look up. Kevin McRae just walked in. God, he's so conceited. He's coming this way, Margaret. I hate him. I bet he doesn't even talk to us. Hey, Angela. What? Hey, Margaret. Yeah, it's great we bumped into each other here because I'm going away pretty soon. I got accepted to Stanford. How about you? Midland Bible College. I had an aunt who went there. Um, <laughs> look, you know, us bumping into each other like this, it's, it's, it's totally fake. Well, what do you mean? Well, because tonight is going to be a very special night, magical night, for us to remember for the rest of our lives. Oh, you must be writing some really good movies. <laughs> um, actually, this was just an excuse so I could come in here and ask you to the prom. What? What do you say? Uh, I'm sorry, Kevin. I don't think so. What? Well, it's really nice of you and all that, but, well, it's just kind of last minute. Oh, come on, Marvel. We better get going. But... <laughs> Angela. What? Angela, wait, 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 look. 
Now, I know I should have asked you earlier, and, and the reason that I didn't do that is, I mean, the truth is because I couldn't get up the nerve to ask you. I mean, look, I know everyone thinks that I'm cool and, and self-confident, but deep down, I'm, I'm a shy guy. I'm sorry I bothered you. That's okay, Kevin. I know how it feels. So then, what do you say? Do you want to go? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Great. I'll see you at seven thirty. Hey. Well, you got a big night tonight, huh? Yeah. Did I tell you I ran into Robbie Lipson down at the hairstylist? Said he got accepted to Princeton. Ah, oh, great. How about you? Did you hear from Maryville College yet? Um, you know what? I think I forgot to send in the transcripts. But besides, Dad, I don't think my grades would have been all that great. You know, that's so typical of you, Dad. Come on, you're a bright kid. You don't apply yourself. Dad, look, I don't even know if I want to go to college. I, I don't know anything about anything. Well, I'll tell you something. You gotta be more self-confident. You gotta be more aggressive. Now, give me that Springsteen tape. I got a date tonight. Um... I think it's by my computer. Oh, great! Another picture of Jupiter. Where's that Heather Locklear poster I gave you? You know what? I think I hung that one up at Mom's house. I know what's bothering you. You do? Yeah. It's your date tonight. What about her? Well, you got a real fox, right? Oh, uh, right. Uh, she's real cute, Dad. I knew it. You are Jack Lefcourt's boy, and the acorn doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? That's right, Dad. Uh, I'm an acorn. <laughs> uh, I remember my senior prom. I had the hottest chick in Bedford Falls on my arm. And my arm was all over her, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dad, look, um, can we talk about something? Of course we can talk. I'm a marriage counselor. Problems are my business. I know. I know what you're thinking. You're afraid I'm going to come down on you if you stay up all night. I don't even want to see you back here until dawn, young man. You got that? And I know you want to impress her by showing up in a great car. Hmm? All right, here. You take the caddy. Happy now? Dad. Dad. Dad! I can't believe I let you talk me into this. I mean, me go to the prom? I feel so weird. Well, I would too if I were putting lip gloss on my nails. Oh, I thought it was a fingernail brush. <laughs> oh, now, what am I going to tell my parents? I mean, they'll never let me out of this house. Angela, you've been listening to your parents all your life, and where has it gotten you? Midland Bible College? Come on. This is your one big chance to go out and really have some fun. Don't chicken out on me. Yeah, but what about our pact? Our pact is that we're friends, and I want you to go to the prom. No, be alone. No, I won't. I'll be with Tom Cruise. <laughs> How come you can draw so good on paper, but you can't draw on your own face? Who am I kidding here? I mean, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. I'm just going to call Kevin and tell him I broke my hip. Angela, will you chill out? I'm going to talk you through this. Yeah, but even if we salvage my face, I still don't have anything I could wear to the prom. Well, you must have something we can work with. I mean, you're standing here with a girl who has been accepted to the Allied School of Design. Woof. This is it? You know my parents. Yeah, not exactly Sean and Madonna, huh? Ugh. Wait, wait, I remember when I was a little girl way back in the 70s, when I saw this old picture of my mom when she was in high school, and she was wearing the most fabulous gown. Come on. Do you like it? Yeah! Make it all work? I guess your mom never came out of the closet, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Okay. Mother, this is a disaster. How am I supposed to serve a wheel of brie without a decent cheese knife? And what am I supposed to serve the espresso in jelly glasses? 
Mother, please, can't you make him stop? Larry, will you please stop making that racket and come in? We're going to be late. Mom, promise me that you and Daddy won't fight tonight. Oh, come on, honey. Come on, we don't fight. We talk. Loudly, sometimes. Right, Nancy? Right, right. We're getting along much better lately. Nice haircut, honey. Thank you, darling. Oh, no. Forgot to push back my cuticles. Oh. So, uh, it's absolutely necessary that I go to this lady. Mary, please. I promised the school that we would chaperone the prom, remember? Yes, yes, I remember. That's fine. No. Good. Thank you. Now, may I ask you one more favor? Mm -hmm. Would you please not do what you did at her sweet 16th birthday party? Oh, come on, Nancy. Those guys begged me to come up on stage with them. They had never heard the long version of Light My Fire. Well, they'd certainly never heard one that long before. Thank you. Thank you very much. You and I both know that I could have been a professional guitar player. Oh, God, here we go again. Poor Larry had to get a job. Yeah, well, someone had to put Brie on the table. Is that meant for me? Because face it, Larry, we have both overindulged our daughter. Anyway, it's the least we could do after all this bickering we put her through. Agreed. So I've spent 17 years trying to pay for it all. Hey, hold it. Do you think you're the only one here who's had to make sacrifices? Do you think it's been my life's ambition to become a substitute teacher? We're doing it again. Right now. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I know. Pushing each other's buttons. Just like the marriage counselor told us. I just wish he would tell us why. Ah, uh, hey, honey, Roger's here. Oh, look at this. Uh, this color, I love this color. What do you call this color? Puce. Puce. Mm. Don't touch my hair, Daddy. No, Please. no. Good night, sweetie. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Bye. Larry, would you get dressed now, please? I'd like to actually get there tonight. Yes! Please. I'm getting dressed. Thank right you. Right now. Look, my limo was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Okay, okay. Did you tell him to come to the door and to say that thing? I gotta go, bye. There she is, the belle in the ball. Let's get a few pictures, baby. Oh, Daddy, please, no pictures. Oh, come on. No, you know what? She's right. Let's wait till Kevin gets here. Okay, what the heck? Let's take some pictures. <laughs> Go ahead. Marcia Schlemmer saw Kevin last week, and he didn't say anything about going with you. Carrie, you little dork. If you tell anyone that Kevin didn't ask me to the prom, I will die of humiliation. Because it's simply not true. Well, of course it's not true. Shelley and Kevin have been dating for nearly four years now. And there he is! That's him, that's Kevin. <laughs> the chauffeur. <laughs> Miss Shelley Sheridan? Yes. Mr. Kevin McRae awaits the pleasure of your company. Great. Oh, you look so beautiful. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Me too, Mom. Oh. Bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. Have, Have a good time. Bye. Bye Be girl. careful. Where to, Miss? Just drive until this runs out. a dress like that. It's Mom's. Don't you ever talk to your mother that way. Oh, Ed, settle down. If Angela wants to go with Margaret to her little prom, I don't see the harm in it. Oh, well, actually, That Mom... would be fine. Wouldn't it, Angela? Yes, fine. <laughs> fine. Fine. Good. Angela. You look great. I, I wish I'd be for the swimsuit competition. Well, I better go clean those tape lights. Um, Kevin, this is my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Stroll. Mrs. Stroll, it's a mm -hmm. pleasure to meet you. And may I say that's a uh, 
charming outfit you're wearing. Uh, Mr. Strell, I'm a big fan of your pharmacy. I've been in there many times, sir. Yes, I remember. I also remember what you came in for. Well, we better be going, Angela. Um, Mr. and Mr. Strell, nothing to worry about. I'll have her back uh, very early, say 6, 7 a.m., okay? <laughs> Ciao. Now, listen to me, young lady. You are not going anywhere with that punk. But, Daddy, I want to go to my prom. Yes, well, the only place you're going is to the bathroom to wash your face. You're ruining my life. You can't do that. Listen, you'll thank me for this later, darling. Oh, and don't bother coming out until you've got all that goo off your face. That was the back door, Ed. Mother, get your coat. What for? We're going to the prom. I can't believe it's finally here. Prom night. Our night. I, I just don't understand why this prom is such a big deal to you. I told you. If we become king and queen of the prom, it'll help us get into the right sorority and fraternity at Central State, which will allow us to make business contacts that will pay off when you become a CPA and I become an advertising executive. And we're going to need a six-figure income if we're going to afford two Jaguars and a vacation home in Maui before we have our two children at age 33. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. You can't forget, Roger. We have to stick to the plan. Otherwise, we're liable to end up like my parents. Oh, Ed, please, don't get so close. Ed! Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I don't know what my father's going to do to me when I get home. Yes, I do. He's going to kill me. I mean, I have never disobeyed my parents before. Have you? Nah. If I labor home, mostly I disobey the maid. Hey, relax, will ya? Okay. Man, I'm sorry. I'll try. Nice car. Yeah. It's Italian. I love Italy. You've been to Italy? Yeah, I went there with my parents when I was six. It's so romantic. <laughs> I've always dreamed of going to Italy. I've read all about it. Some of the world's greatest artists in Italy. Well, then you will love the place I'm taking you for dinner tonight. You know, it's got the statue of the naked lady with no arms. The Venus de Milo? Nah, it's called Ristorante Federico, which means Fred's restaurant. Restaurante Federico, I've heard of it. Sounds wonderful. Grazie. <laughs> then we'll make an appearance at the prom. And maybe drop by at Patrice's party. And we'll, uh, do some stuff. And we'll go for the traditional breakfast at Hud's. How does that sound? It sounds perfect. I don't know what more I could ever want. Did you see that? Did you see that? What? He's lowered his hand. Where is his hand? Settle down now. I'm sure he's just reaching for the cigarette lighter. Oh, that's perfect. Five minutes in the car with that punk already she's smoking. One, please. Um, what time does the last movie get out? 6 a.m. Perfect. Don't go, Skip. It's too dangerous. They could be out there somewhere. Somebody's got to get help, Lois. Besides, there's not an ant alive who can catch my hot rod. Yeah, that's right, Missy. You'll be safe here with me. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Pardon. Pardon. I, I love you, Lois. Gus. Gus? Gus! Oh no! It can't be! No! Shelly Sheridan, aren't you? <laughs> 
Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just got a little carried away because Gus got eaten by the giant ant. <sighs> okay. Here, I got you. Look, I could have gone to the prom if I wanted to. Okay, I mean. Five guys asked me to go. There was there was Tony Palandino and Mike Gelman and, and Kenny Edwards and Eddie Sokoloff and, and that exchange student from Pakistan. Oh yeah. <laughs> why why didn't you go with one of them? Because I was waiting for Kevin McCray to ask me. Not that I care, you know. I'm glad he didn't ask me. I didn't want to go with him anyway. I'd much rather watch a good movie. Die, insect! Die! So, uh, what are you doing here? I'm hiding. From my father. See, he'd kill me if he knew I didn't make it to the prom. Just don't tell anyone from school you saw me here, okay? Who would I tell? No one speaks to me. Alright. Want some popcorn? No, thanks. I have enough here. Look, can can we just ignore each other, okay? Just sit back and watch the movie and pretend you don't know who I am, and I will do the same for you, Don. Damn. Sorry. What? Oh, no. What? Look out! There's down Peter! Ah! Ah, Buenos aires, signore. Dining at Federico's tonight, eh? Uh, we. Oui. Mr. McRae, 8 o'clock. Uh, oh, very good, Signor. Santori, show Signore McRae and his better Signorina to a lovely table. Right? This way, please. Thank you, Santori. Um, I'd like to see a wine list. Ah, uh, don't you have to be 21, Kevin? I can handle this. Oh, thank you, senor. <laughs> right, now the wine list. You must be 21. <sighs> right. So what kind of mineral water do you have? I didn't show you me that. Eh? Very good, very good. Por ser, senor. The cafeteria is a downstairs about the shoeshine stand. Listen, did you see a nice girl in a punk come in here? Scusa, signore. Oh, wait, I'm sure she's fine. Why don't we just go out and drive around the block somewhere? <laughs> fine, is she? What do you think he's playing her with right now? Water? Give us a table, fella. Mario, I think I have adjusted the table for you, huh? Mario, take these people to the table by the, uh, gabinetto. Oh, thank you. Hi. <laughs> Lori, I'm gonna die. Your dress is fabulous. Didn't I see this on sale? Karen, Abby, hi. hi. Oh. This is so exciting. It's our prom. I can't believe this. Oh my god, Patrice, your gown is way cool. What would you call that color? Puce. Come on, Roger. <clears throat> well, I guess we know who chose our geeky prom theme. <laughs> <laughs> Your dress looks like the tablecloths. Of course. I'm the only girl here who goes with the room. You know, when I'm named Queen, I hope that gold tiara doesn't clash.
music, huh? That's right. See, I don't think these kids know what real music is. Yeah. Remember Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Yeah. yeah, the Righteous Brothers. Remember you lost that love and feeling? They don't play music like that these days. Yeah, see, maybe they'd like to hear some of them. You know, I mean, maybe they're tired of this canned stuff. They'd like to hear some real music. I could go get my guitar. And I'll just hide in the case. Thank you. Thank you. See, that's not what you said when I sang at our prom. You remember? I do. I recall. You said I was groovy. <laughs> that's not true. I never said you were groovy. I never said the word groovy. It's a stupid word, groovy. You probably said you were groovy. Why do you always have to put me down because I'm a musician? Reality alert, Larry. You're not a musician. You're a salesman. Yeah, thanks for never letting me forget it. May I have some courage, please, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson? Yes, of course. How you doing? Having a good... Dunlap, look at that ant, man. It's so fakey. It looks like old Big Tidwell. What do you mean? You know, Skip, ants love candy. Please, this is happening. I'm going to die. I'm simply going to die. They're only 10th graders. 10th graders from Hoover High. Everybody knows me at that school. If they see me, the whole world will find out that I didn't have a date to the prom, and you have no idea how humiliating that would be. You guys, let's move up a little closer. Oh my God! They're coming this come way! On. Do something! Oh no! 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 Punch so it hurts our ears. Yeah, come on! I can't believe it! Hey, look at that girl on the ground. Maybe she dropped some change. Come on! Hey, hey, hey! Get off those seats! Get back there! Come on! Hey, who do you think you are? I am an usher, thank you very much. Why do you think I have this tux on, huh? To go to the prom? Well, we're not doing nothing. That's right. Don't give me that lip, young man. Now sit down and be quiet. There are decent people in this theater, and they're trying to watch ants. Yes, sir. much candy, eh? Can't tell you how many times I've seen this happen. It's a sad sight. Oh, this is a nightmare. Yeah. This is horrible. This is worse than the time that I had a milk mustache and everyone was staring at me. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I caught that in Nightline, I think. <laughs> Look, do you have a car? No, I took a limo. I couldn't afford to have him stay all night for me. I suppose... <laughs> Well, I could give you a ride home. <laughs> home? I can't go home. My little sister's there. She hates me. If she found out that I didn't have a date to the prom, she'd tell all the junior high kids, and then all my friends would find out, and then the whole world would know, and then, and then... The, uh, the milk mustache. <laughs> exactly. Look, um, <laughs> I can't go home either. Um, so if you want to, and, and you don't mind too terribly much, <laughs> yeah, you could hang out with me all night. <laughs> I don't think that that's... Yeah, hey, that was a stupid idea. I don't know what got into me. That's great, I love that. That's Phil Hargrove and Donna Munson, who used to date my best friend's brother, Dave. What did you do? Write your name on a wall somewhere? Where's your car? Right out here. No, let's go to the back way. Come on. Let's go. Where are you going? Oh. Not sure how long I can stay, Dr. Lefkowitz. I have an early patient in the morning. He suffers from displaced aggression, and if I'm late, he breaks all my pencil points. <laughs> Please, will you call me Jack? Hmm? Cooking is just one of the ways that I like to express the yin, the feminine, the sensitive part of my personality. What's your poison? Banana daiquiri. You know, I don't get to meet many really sensitive men. Well, except this one patient I have, but of course he's heavily medicated. 
I'll tell you the truth, Cecile. I think one of the reasons that my own sensitivity awareness is so heightened is I know what it's like to go through a divorce and uh, try to raise a child alone. I'm all out of bananas. I hope you don't mind bourbon. So you have a child, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not to worry. He's going to be out late tonight, so you and I have this place to ourselves until morning. Is it the senior prom? <laughs> Oh, well then what's his corsage doing here? Oh, well, he must have forgotten that. You smell so nice. Uh, don't you think that's just a little insensitive? I mean, just imagine his feelings of embarrassment and inadequacy. You know, something like this could really scar him emotionally. Yeah, yeah, it could. Listen, you want to uh, come downstairs and kick your shoes off? Hmm? I think you should drive this over to the prom. What? No, no, forget that. I mean, uh, no, I think that would just embarrass him even more. You know how fragile the male adolescent ego is? Oh, yes, I do. I wrote a paper on it. Come on, let's take it to him. All right, all right. Take him the flower. Hi, may I take your order? Uh, yes, please. Um, I'll have two bobbin burgers, uh, two regular fries, and two large ice waters, please. And I'd like a Moby fish burger, the whale-sized fries, onion rings, a chocolate shake, a cherry pie, and a couple of shrimp kebabs. That'll be all. <laughs> That'll be 1286. Pull forward to the window, please. Thank you. No, don't. What the hell are you doing? What? I know that kid's voice. Who? What? That's Stanley Lamar. His locker's next to mine. Oh. He'll recognize me. What? Oh. Go. Hey! What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Yes, please tell me. Okay, we can't go to Pizza Rama because Michelle Fordham is the waitress there. We can't go to Dairy Maid because J.J. Corn and all of his friends go there. And we can't go to HUD because that's where all the kids go after the prom. And all the other hangouts are closed by now. Mm. Okay. We'll just we'll just drive around till morning. But I'm hungry. Alright, I've got an idea. My dad gave me a hundred dollars. I know this restaurant downtown my dad sometimes goes to. I'm positive you'll see none of your friends there. Fine. Oh, this looks fabulous, Kevin. Yes, it's an Italian specialty, my personal favorite. I order it all the time. I forget what it's called. Zabaglione. You're welcome. No, I'm a dessert, Zabaglione. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're different than most of the girls I know. You're, you're smart, and I like that, sort of. You mean it? Sure. I mean, why else would I have asked you out? Uh, wait. This is another Italian special thing. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yes. Good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, alright. Look at them. Eating out of the same dish. What are they, dogs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sharing is nice. Oh, you know what they're sharing? Hmm? Germs. This happens to be the cold and flu season. Just lucky for her, I got a quantity discount on this terrain. guarantee you, you will not see anyone here from Hoover High. Good. May I describe our specials this evening? Our fresh fish is calamari, squid sautéed in garlic and butter. <gasps> or, for our less adventurous <coughs> diners, we... What are you uh, doing? We have a serve and turf special. What's going on? It's Kevin McRae. He's right over there. If he sees me with you, it will be the most humiliating moment of my life. As opposed to squatting under a table in a four-star restaurant. It's worse than humiliating. Did you see who he was with? Did you? It's Dahl Stroll. The geekiest girl in the whole class. 
And worse than that, she's beautiful. So what do you suggest we do? Crawl out of here on our hands and knees? Excuse me. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Grazie, signore. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-three dollars. For the natural bounty of the earth? Well, this green thing I had was quite tasty. Shelly, Shelly. Just be glad you didn't order what they did. They're leaving. Let's roll, Mother. Where's your wallet? In my purse at home. What's wrong? I left mine in the living room. Oh, this is just perfect. This is just great. Well, we'll just talk to the manager. I'm sure he'll understand. Darling, we cannot spend an hour sitting in a room talking to an Italian. Well, what are we going to do then? Okay, here's the plan. We're just going to get up and casually walk out of there. Let's go. This is embarrassing. You're going to make a scene. But besides, it's immoral. Oh, really? What do you call charging $63 for spaghetti? Hey, you in a rush? Scusa, signore! Oh, you didn't pay your check! Santoni, stop it! Stop it! We've got the record on! Monday is the hardest day for me A Tuesday gets a little better, you see A Wednesday seems blase A Thursday makes me think of Friday But well, I'm always in a good mood when Friday's here I think my weekend out real clear I get in touch with my close friends And see if they have free weekends I hate it. It's driving me nuts. I mean, it's just noise. I get my mom's a kid, and then I walk down and see you smiling. We got the weekend on. We got the weekend on. So when can we go home? In the morning. What? In the morning. No, no, that wasn't an I didn't hear you. What? That was like a what the hell are you talking about? What? So what the hell are you talking about? Patrice's after prom party, remember? We promised Patrice she didn't have to have a chaperone, remember? Okay, okay, let me get this straight. You and I have to spend the next eight to ten hours together. What the hell are we gonna do? Well, we can certainly rule out sex. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! Well, pardon me, Miss Joan Collins. And I suppose that's all my fault. No, right, I suppose I'm just the lousiest lover in the world. Yeah, I suppose, and that's the only reason why we haven't made love in two years. Good. Good one, Larry. Really done it this time. Now you just stay the hell away from me. This is a very special night for Roger and me. I mean, not only does it signal the end of my era as head of the prom committee, captain of the girls' golf team, and female lead in the drama club's production of South Pacific, but also because we're here with you, our friends. And no matter what honors Roger and I may achieve in the future, or even here tonight, we'll always look down at you with fondness. Right, Roger? Huh? Yeah, uh, we're all loaded here. <laughs> you want to take a picture or what? Hey, look! Kevin's here! Hey, Kevin! Oh, oh, oh. All right, who is that with him? Is she a fox or what? Oh my god, she must be a college girl. I've never seen her at this school before. Yes, you have. That's Angela Stroll. Come here. What 
is the matter with you? We're running out of crab puffs. Get in there. Uh, crab puffs? Well, uh, uh, of course. Uh, coming right up. Why didn't you bring more crab puffs? And how many times do I have to tell you to wear a white jacket? Well, I'll You see her anywhere? There she is. Surrounded by punks. Oh, don't let her see you. Whoa, bro, she's a primo. You really know how to pick her. Yeah, she is. She really is. Wow, your dress, I love it. It's way cool. Oh, thank you. Your dress is very away and nice, too. Um, so how long have you and Kevin been dating? Since 7.30. <laughs> so, uh, so Angela, you want to dance? I don't know, Wallace. I don't dance all that well. Don't worry, neither does he. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> She beautiful out there. She certainly is. And I have a mind to go out there and drag her home. Ed, you promised. I know, I know. She's never betrayed our trust before. Well, she's never been on a date before. Ed, she's 18. She can vote. I'm not too crazy about that either. Ed, she voted Republican. What more do you want? She is a good girl, isn't she? Yeah. Come on, Ed, let's dance. Thank you, no. Mother, but Ruth. You got here. Morris called in sick four hours ago. You breaks over, hit the kitchen, clean the grease trap. Look at her, Roger. I don't get it. You tell me, why is everybody making such a big fuss over her? Huh? So oh, yeah. Better. Uh, excuse me, could you get that to Dan Leftcourt? Dan Leftcourt? Leftcourt. Big Dan. Are you sure he came to the prom? Of course I'm sure. My son, this is his own prom. <laughs> Had a good looking date lined up, too. Nice rental tux. But he bought this corsage and. Uh... Well, there's no Dan Leftcourt on the list. He never bought a ticket. He never bought a ticket? Well, now, uh, what's the problem? I'm sure there's. Well, the problem is my son lied to me. I sound like that's the problem. Well, Do not necessarily. Well, I'm sure Did you see the way Kevin kept staring at her? Do you think he likes her? I, I mean, like, like really, really, really likes her? Um. Uh. Well, I don't know if he, he really, really, really likes her. But, but, but I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think, I think he really likes her. This is not funny, okay? Kevin and I went out for four years. I was deeply in love with him. Yeah, why? Well, he was popular. <sighs> this, this is deep. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Only uh, seven hours and 46 minutes to go. <laughs> and then the prom's gonna let out in a couple of hours and the streets are gonna be swarming with people I know. Wait a minute here. Hold on for a second. I know this place outside of town. I am sure none of your friends would go there. <laughs> it better be way outside of town. Where is it? Another planet. Okay, 
everybody, it's the magic hour. Time to announce the king and queen of the Hoover High Senior Prom. And here to announce the winners is the head of the prom committee, your very own Patrice Johnson. Thank you, thank you so very much. Principal Tidwell, teachers, mom, dad, fellow students, it is my great privilege to announce the highest honor that Hoover High School can bestow upon a student. What is a queen? A queen must be beautiful, of course, but she must also be fair, wise, intelligent, popular, and have a C in phys ed, the king too. Given such strict criteria, there can only be one choice for such an honor. So your prom king for this year is... Kevin McRae. Congratulations, Kevin. Tough luck, Roger. I voted for you. And now, the moment that you've all been waiting for, your prom queen is... Oh, sh Shelly Sheridan. This is all your fault. Huh? Remember when you went through your punk rock period? Your spite hair reflected on me. So, Kevin and Shelly, would you like to come up and get your little aluminum crown things? Oh, wait. Wait, stop. Shelly Sheridan isn't here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, as head of your prom committee, I move that we elect a new queen. Wow. I come up here a lot. Um... I call it Space Mountain. See, it's the best place to look at the stars because it's the farthest away from all the light pollution. You, <laughs> you want to see a galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> right there. I can't see that cloud's in the way. No, that that cloud is a galaxy. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's it's the Milky Way. Right now, you're looking at about. 100,000 million stars. Give or take a few. How'd you learn all this stuff? Um, I, I don't know. Um, I guess astronomy's a good hobby. You know, when you have your nights free and, uh, and those nights are usually on Saturday nights. My Saturday nights aren't all that great either. What are you talking about? You've always got dates. You're always invited to parties. <laughs> You're the most popular girl in our school. Yeah. But why do you think being popular is so important to me? I have no idea. Let's put it this way. You're not the only one who feels alone inside. Maybe we just handle it in different ways. You're standing in front of Venus, kid. Fred. Danny. How's it going? Good night tonight, eh? Well, it's a little hazy down here, but up there it is a miraculous night. Four planets in conjunction. Oh, oh uh, Fred, this is Shelley. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, Fred's the most brilliant man I've ever met. Are you a professor at Central? No, I'm a toll collector on the turnpike. Did you get a look at the Pleiades? Why? Are they crooked? No, 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 it, it's a constellation. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing with this nerd? No, Fred, no. She's not a nerd. You and I, we're nerds. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when it comes to this stuff, I'm like really dumb. I mean, when I look up at the stars, all I see are stars. <laughs> See, that's why the ancient Greeks used to uh, 
make up stories so they can remember the constellations. Like the Pleiades. That's so cool. What's that star over there, the real bright one? Uh, um, that's not a star, that's, um, that's Venus. Here, take a look. You look through the little end. Don't touch the knobs. <laughs> Even I know who Venus was. The goddess of love, right? That's right. Venus was the most beautiful goddess ever. She dated a lot. And, um, and all the other gods wanted to marry her. So who'd she choose? <laughs> that's, that's funny. Um, she married Vulcan. What's so funny about that? Nothing, I guess. I mean, Vulcan was, you know, a nice guy and everything. It's just that he, well, he was the ugliest god in the heavens. Um, sort of like a nerd god. Principal Tidwell, teachers, fellow students, it is my great pleasure to announce Hoover High School senior prom queen. Angela Stroll. I like this Kevin Costner. Hey, hey, you were in here before, weren't you? You're friends with Angela Stroll. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you think maybe you could uh, fix me up with her? <laughs> well, gee, I don't know. She's going out with Kevin McRae, you know. Yeah, I know. And I know why. What are you talking about? Come on, you know. Because <laughs> Angela does it. Does what? Does it. <laughs> My friend Maury told me that his friend Wallace told him that his friend Kevin is only going out with her tonight because Angela's got a mattress tied around her back. Hey, 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 you, 
going to take that Kevin Costner or what? Was that a no? Uh, no, um, I just need them for reading, but I like them. I think you look good without them. I, I can see your eyes. Someone's coming. Fred, please, just for a second. You're a little low for Saturn. Oh, I wish I was on Saturn. It's my father. It doesn't even around. matter anymore, Larry. Look what's become of us. We're like two caged animals. Yeah, you're right. I just wish there was something we could do about it. There is. Monday morning, let's call the lawyer and tell him we're ready to start divorce proceedings. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it'd be crazy to go on like this. Where are you? Come on, I know you're up here. That not ought to see a psychiatrist. As long as it isn't me. Hey, could you give me a lift home? Well, I... Sure. Oh. This is... A miraculous night. Hey, it's a seal. Wait a second. Wait a minute. We're in the middle of a date. A date? No, no. This is not a date. This is a, a session with cocktails. It's not a session. No, look, I'm just sharing all right, with you. All right, listen to me. Why do you think you're so angry with your son? I told you because he lied to me. And why do you think he lied? Well, he couldn't get a date. Now, why should that be so important to you? Because I want him to be. To be what? Exactly like you. Well, rest assured, you and your son do have something in common now. Neither one of you has a date. For me? Yeah, well, I got him off the centerpiece, but people were taking him. I mean, you could take him home. Okay, thank you. Very nice. So, uh, what, what do you want to do? I mean, we have this whole night to kill. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't even know where to go. It's been so long since we've had a night on the town. It's been what? Uh... Two years. Maybe we could go where we went after our prom. <laughs> oh, Ed, it looks like she's about to leave. Let's go so she doesn't see us. Yeah, I'm out of shrimp toast anyway. Let's uh, go home, Mother. Well, Ed, what's gotten into you? Oh, I was just thinking about how sexy you looked on our prom night. 
Remember what I said when I first saw you in that dress? Yeah. Where's the zipper? <laughs> that very dress that Angela is wearing right now. Oh, Ed, look at her. She just looks so happy. Mother, we are not leaving. What? Quick, quick. Uh, here, hide behind these balloons. Angela! Laura and Cindy and me are going to the ladies' room. You want to come, too? Well, if you're sure I'm not imposing. Oh, don't be silly. You're quitting the prong. Come on. Uh, Patrice, you want to hold Angela's crown, of course? So, uh, you done anything tonight, Kevin? Yeah, I won Wimbledon. Of course I haven't done anything yet. Well, what are you waiting for, man? Nothing. It's just that Angela's a lot different than I expected. I think maybe you guys are wrong about her. You chickening out, stud? No. Oh. Just waiting for the right time to make my move. Oh, right, like a Patrice's party? Yeah, right, at the party. All right, I knew our stud would not let us down. I've been waiting here for over an hour. Mara, I can't believe you're here. Tonight has been the most amazing night. I went to the video store to rent this cassette. Margaret, I was named prom queen. And there was this real jerk behind me. It was the like a dream. And he told me the real reason why Kevin, Kevin asked you to me. prom. Margaret, it was incredible. Kevin, Kevin is incredible. Kevin only asked you out to the prom because he heard that you were easy. What? Kevin only asked you out tonight because he heard that you were easy. No, I don't believe it. Oh, believe it. Kevin told Wallace, who told Maury, who told this jerk behind the counter, who told me. Well, that doesn't mean it's true. Kevin really likes me. Angela, you have never been asked out in your entire life, and then on the night of the prom, the coolest kid in school comes up and asks you out? You've never gone out on a date in your life. Just get your stuff and let's get out of here. I'm not going anywhere with you. Look, I'm having too good of a time. I'm staying with Kevin. Angela, you have to listen to me. I'm your friend. No. All I know is that this is the best night of my entire life, and I am not going to let you ruin it. How long do we have? Um, uh, a couple hours. Great. So, Shelly, what are you gonna do with your life? I don't know. I never really thought about it. I mean, I do think about it a lot, but I still don't know. Looks like uh, neither of us know what we're gonna do. Yeah. scared, Dan. Me too. Oh my god, do you have any idea where we are? Uh, this, this is where everyone goes to make out. We're parked at Mount Neverrest. So this is it. I have looked for this place, I cannot tell you how many times. This, oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, gosh. This, this. this is a nightmare. That's Joe Sharp and Claudia Wallach. Look, look, look. That's Stan Spurlock and, and, and Annie Palmer. Any second, they're gonna look over here and they're gonna see me. Will you please do something? Nice prom. Are you trying to be funny? Do you have any idea what happened tonight, Roger? We lost. We're losers. You know, I was planning on getting into the best sorority at Central, but now I'll be lucky if we're rushed by an audio-visual club. Uh, excuse me, you kids realize it's time and a half after midnight, don't you? Huh? 
Time and a half. It means you pay him a little extra, Roger, along with the appropriate tip. What's the big deal? Uh, well, you know, I, I, I bought you that ring. Yes, so? I only have 32 cents left. <laughs> I cannot believe that you have done this to me. This is all your fault. My fault? Yes, you're the one who didn't bring enough money. Yeah, but you're, you're the one who called him a dweeb. Anyway, it looks like we're gonna have to go out a few more times before we, you know, it's too bad. Damn. It's no problem, dude. What? What are you doing? Ah! Ah! Thanks. Thanks. Remember walking through the park after our prom? Yeah, I remember talking for hours about the future. <laughs> You were going to hitch a ride to Los Angeles and see if the mamas and papas needed a bass player? Yeah, and you were going to join the Peace Corps and go to Zimbabwe and stage a oh. violent overthrow of the government. Yeah. Hey, 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 look at what? this, look at this. Wait a minute, what? it's here, it's here, look, see? Larry loves Nancy, 66, you remember? Yeah. You remember what happened next? Right after I carved this? proposed to me yeah and then the next thing I know I'm out looking for a job we're renting an apartment I'm buying a house then Patrice came we were too young if you had it to do over again would you still marry me There's no one home. This is so unbelievable. Everybody's standing around outside waiting for me to show up so the party can start. You know, 
Kevin. Before tonight, I felt kind of, I don't know, out of it. Like I didn't fit in anywhere. I mean, I didn't have too many friends at school. Only one, really. And my parents are so really hard to talk to. And now it's like in one night, my whole life is changing. I feel like somebody. And it's all because of you. I really like you, Angela. Oh, no! Let's just not say anything, okay? No, Kevin, don't stop. This is the reason you asked me to the prom. No. How could you say that? I didn't say that. You said that. To Wallace, who told Murray, who told some kid in the video store, who told Margaret, who told me. Okay, wait. Now, maybe that was the reason that I asked you at first. But now that I've gotten to know you, I really do like you. I mean it, Angela. You got it backwards, Kevin. You should have liked me first. Okay. You're right. But, I mean, we could still go out together, can't we? No. It's too late. I can't believe this has happened. We've only got a dollar and twenty cents left. We're miles away from my house. We're gonna end up in a news report on the homeless. Can we call up Lori or Marina or somebody? Roger, all our friends are at my house. Well, where are your parents? I don't know. They promised they'd go out someplace. They won't be back till morning. All right, okay, we can call my dad. Roger, understand this, okay? I will not arrive at my Apre prom party in an exterminator's van with a rubber roach on the top. Hey, you kids go to Hoover High? Yes, yes we do. Well, am I glad to see you. Oh, not as glad as we are to see you. You're in the senior class? Yes, that's right. Have you seen Dan Leftcourt? I've been looking all over for him. That geek? Why would we have seen him? I mean, he didn't go to the prom. He couldn't even get a date. Oh, uh, well, we did see him by corsage. That's why he's a geek. I mean, who's he trying to fool? His father. This is all his father's fault. Wait, wait, no! Uh, no! Uh, um, I believe we're the only ones left now. Um, <laughs> we could go home, but we don't have to. I'll give you ten bucks for the watch and six for the compact. Keep your yo-yo. We're gonna need more than $16 to get a cab home from here. I can't believe it's come to this, Roger. But you know, I've learned something. I've learned that gold and diamonds and jewels aren't the most important thing in the world. Money is. Here, take it. I'm sorry, Roger. I know how you must feel. I know that ring symbolized the strength of your commitment to me. Two bucks. What? Imitation zirconium. Um. It's, it's morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we should probably go home now. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it, it's funny how, how things seem different in the morning. Yeah. here. Margaret, you were so right about Kevin. Oh my God, are you, are you okay? Never been better. God, 
What was it like? It was terrific. I dumped him. Oh my god. You dumped Kevin McRae? <laughs> well, sure. I mean, after all, we made a pact to spend prom night together, remember? True, but one of us forgot. Oh, sure, you dumped your new friends in Kevin McRae, and now you want to come back to good old Margaret. Well, Margaret isn't here. Margaret, I was wrong. True. And you were right. True. It's just... It's just that nobody has ever treated me like that before. And I forgot who my best friend really was. Or is? Margaret, all I want to say is that I'm sorry. This is lovely. The perfect end to a perfectly horrible night. Oh, it could be worse. Oh, really, Roger? Could it be worse? Why don't you tell me, Roger, how could it possibly be worse than this? You know, we have a noise ordinance in this city. Now, who's responsible for this party? If you can't climb up there, you got orthopedic shoes on. I'll tell you what, Mother, get down on your hands and knees. I don't think prayer will help. I don't want to pray. I want to step on your back. I need a boost. That does it. Give me your keys. I'm going home. Oh, fine. Good. Fine! Good! What the hell do you think you're doing? Um. That's my house. Um, you better get out of here. Why? Well, you don't want anyone to see you get out of my car. Oh, right. I'm still hungry. Um, the only place open at this time is Hunt's. And you don't want to go there. You know, that's where everybody goes after the prom, you know, for breakfast. Right. Yeah. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Doop, 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 doop. Thank God they released us before they made me wear one of those blue jumpsuits. We have criminal records now, Roger. We're ex-cons. Our futures, our lives, our very careers are ruined. And you can kiss any dreams of getting into a decent country club goodbye. I never wanted to be in a country club anyway. I'm going to pretend that I didn't hear that. So what? You never listen to me anyway. I'm not listening to this. Like when I told you I didn't want to become a CPA. I don't even want to go to college. I want to be a fireman. <laughs> They brainwashed you in jail, didn't they, Roger? And one more thing, Patrice. I don't want to be pre-engaged or engaged or married to you. Dad, Mom. Honey, what? what happened to you? This has been the worst night of my entire life. Roger and I just broke up. Oh, oh sweetie, that's too bad. But you know what? It's probably for the best. What do you mean? Your mom's right, honey. You and Roger were pushing it a little. You don't want to make the same mistake we did. Don't say that. Your marriage wasn't a mistake. Yes, it was. At least getting married so young was. And it's taken us 20 years to correct it. Oh, my Italy. I don't know. There's an art school there that I've always wanted to go to. Italy. Angelo, that's a big step. What happened to you tonight? I'm not sure. All I know is that I started out as dull stroll and wound up prom queen. If I can do that, I can do anything. All oh, right, stud, man, you must have been really good. She is still smiling. Oh, my God. I didn't do anything. 
anything? Neither did she. Hurry up, Ruth. Get out of here before the whole place erupts into gang violence. Oh, my you listen to me, young lady. Get your things together, we're going straight home. Daddy, what are you doing here? I bailed him out. Right. Now get your things together. Let's go. We're going home. But I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing bad happened last night. Oh, really? <laughs> what do you call running out on a restaurant check, hmm? What do you call sneaking into a private party? Destroying hotel property, breaking a window. Oh, don't forget uh, being arrested for voyeurism, Ed. Right? But I didn't do any of those things. No, but I did! Hey, any of you kids seen Dan left court? Hey, look, look, buddy, wouldn't you just butt out? Thank you. Hey, uh, well, I know you. Uh, Hoover High, class of 69, you're Stroll. Wild Man Stroll. Wild Man? Well, just a nickname. Doesn't mean anything. Children are cruel. Remember the time you streaked the girls' gym class? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> they let you back in school after that, huh? Yeah. You ran naked in front of girls? Well, it was, uh, before I met your mother. And that, uh, oh, the scandal that everybody was talking, it was, uh, the, what, the girl you got pregnant, her name was, uh... Ruth. Ruth, yes, yes! Red Hot Ruth. Red, hot. Well, it's great seeing you again, wild man. Honey, it's you nothing like you got think. married because you had to. Well, honey, you see, the reason we carry on this way is because, uh, well, you know, we need to see you get in trouble the way we did. But you raised me to be a good person, so why can't you have a little bit of faith in me? Angela, you're right. I guess I'll just have to try. I promise. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> I promise to write you every week from Europe. Did you say Europe? Well, that's where I'm going after school to study art. I see, yes. I mean, it's not enough you went out with that punk tonight. You gotta go to a whole continent full of them. Ed, let's just go home. Dr. Weenie, Dr. Lefcourt. Hey, Weenie. <laughs> you remember the time you came to the prom with your aunt? Tried to pretend you were dating a cocktail waitress? <laughs> okay, all right, sure, all right, all right. Maybe I might have been a little weenie-ish, but uh, people can change. Yeah. Let's see you, Weenie. <laughs> Shelly, what are you doing with that dweeb? Going steady. Oh. <laughs>